Hey Disney family and welcome back to my channel. So number one, I hit 100 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this Disney journey and I hope you guys are having as much fun as I am. I know I feel like I say this every video. I'm always like, thank you, I'm having a great time, but I really mean it, genuinely mean it. It comes from the bottom of my heart. So a little bit about the number of times that I've been to Disney World. I don't actually know. I lost count somewhere after like 45 when I was in my 20s. It, it doesn't doesn't matter how many times I've been there I love going and I want to continue to go and number isn't relevant unless it's the first one of the year and I want to go four or five times that's when the number is relevant the number is relevant to me when I'm counting the number of times I get to go that year but because I've gone so many times it has given me the opportunity to eat at many different sit-down restaurants on the Walt Disney World Resort but as I started doing YouTube I realized there are a lot of really good restaurants that I have never been to and I'm a little horrified because I'm like how have I never been here this place is so good this is his favorite how have I never been here? So today I'm going to be telling you the restaurants that I really, really want to go to and have not been to. And also, you guys are gonna help me decide which of these restaurants to go to in my November trip. Later on in this video, I will leave a survey above and I will ask you guys to pick between two restaurants for me that I'm going to try on my November trip. So anyway, let's hop into it. The first of the restaurants is located at the Polynesian and it is Ohana. I have heard it's absolutely amazing. The food is fantastic. The character experience is great. And I really, really want to go. Only one time have we tried to eat at the Polynesian and that was when we actually tried to do the luau and it was too cold for the performers and we ended up just I don't even remember where we ate, but it wasn't at Ohana. It is the favorite of some of my Disney YouTubers and so I really trust their opinion, so I really, really want to try that. The next is the Coral Reef Restaurant at Epcot. I have never eaten there, and that is because I actually had a seafood allergy up until the end of my pregnancy. After I was done being pregnant, I went to my allergist, and we found out I am not allergic to seafood anymore, and that was a 10-year ordeal. So that was pretty amazing that somehow the chemistry in my body changed, so now I can try the Coral Reef Restaurant. It was just too risky before, but now it's something that I really, really want to have an opportunity to eat at. The next two are located in Disney Springs. That is the Planet Hollywood Observatory. It's the brand new one. It's supposed to be stunning inside but it's the Planet Hollywood Observatory and I ate at the old Planet Hollywood and actually when we tried to go and eat there the wait was just extremely long I think it was like a three hour wait we ended up eating somewhere else I don't remember where we ended up eating but I'll put it here when I do next is STK and I've heard the steaks there are just phenomenal and I realize it's a chain and there are places but you know there's nothing like Disney even if there's a chain that comes into Disney I'm like meh it's probably different because it's got a little magic or pixie dust sprinkled in <laughs> so moving back into the resorts the next place I want to eat at is at Animal Kingdom Lodge and it is called Sanaa I have heard amazing things about it from other Disney youtubers again and I actually want to stay at the Animal Kingdom Lodge, so I think I'll save that experience for when I stay there because, well, it just makes sense. It's location and geography to me is very close, so when I do stay at the Animal Kingdom Lodge, I would love to try Sanaa. The next two are very pricey, but are two of my parents' favorite restaurants. When I can finance this kind of dining, I would love to go here, and the first place is Narcoosie's at the Grand Floridian, and the second place is Victoria and Albert's. And I mean, who doesn't want to go to Victoria and Albert's where there's like a 10 course meal and the chef personally talks to you and there's a very limited number of reservations and it's just gonna be amazing, I'm sure. I'll probably save that for something like our 10 year wedding anniversary or I don't know, maybe I'll renew my vows and have it at Victoria and Albert's and you guys can all come. <laughs> so the next two are actually the two that you're gonna help me pick between. They're both located at the Contemporary. One is the California Grill and the other is the Wave. I've heard great things about both of them, but I would love to know what you guys think. My favorite YouTuber, Michael K, talks about them all the time. And he's completely talked me into going in my November trip, even though I already have all my dining reservations set. I have made two dining reservations for these two places and you guys are gonna help me to decide which one I should do. So, I am leaving a survey, 
please, please, please let me know what you guys think and we will book that for my November trip. Now, like I said, I have been to many of the restaurants at the Walt Disney World Resort and most of the places, I've eaten at most places at least once, but a lot of the hotel restaurants I have not had the opportunity to eat at. So if you guys have some suggestions as well, please let me know. Obviously, I go to Disney World often and I wanna start trying some new restaurants as I go on my trips. If you are not a part of my Disney family, please hit that subscribe button. I would love to see you back here. I really, really love my Disney family. It's ever expanding and growing and everybody is welcome. And as always, I hope to make your trip just a little more magical. See you real soon.